Hey, what's up? Thank you for clicking on my video. Um, I need to start going through my items and getting organized and declutter some items out of my house. So I'm going to be taking you guys through my makeup, my junk box. Can y'all see a whole bunch of random stuff and it's like popping out the side. So I have that to look through with you guys and I might do a clothing one. I do not have that many clothing and I'm actually going to be doing a haul, a winter time um, haul um for youtube and from obviously i need the clothes so right now i'm going to be doing my makeup i keep it all in here this is from when i was 18 or 19 my boyfriend bought me my first pair of just the original white air force ones and the lows and um yeah so i've, I've just kept the box and that is where i keep all my makeup but Recently, I had just been um, using like four products, just my eyeliner, my mascara, my concealer, and then sometimes I'd use eyeshadow. And um, so I just had those out in the bathroom. And then I had this just, you know, not getting barely any use. I'd really not go in there that much. So I want to look through this. And then I do have um, these little organization things. And I don't know if I'm going to use these until we move or clean them up and use them instead of keeping the stuff in the box. I don't know. But I do have this little organization thing. And I picked it up from Goodwill for $2.99. And I have glitter everywhere. Like, I would do, like, a crotch shot right now. Because when I picked up this, um, this is where I did my... DIY and I forgot that I rolled it up so that I would remember um or hoping that I would remember that there was a whole bunch of glitter in it so it's everywhere but yeah you guys look at Goodwill like I was so surprised to find this because you know I thought these acrylic type of things were expensive and then my grandma bought um me and my mom and her one of these little um acrylic drawers she said she got it for a good deal it's Estillo cosmetic organizer and then I picked up this as well from Goodwill and this just makes me so happy the holographic stars just reminds me of my childhood and I only picked it up for $2.99 and I saw this on dollskill.com I think it was for $20 I mean I know it's brand new but everything that's like 90s related is getting just upsold or whatever you want to call it and then i picked this up from the dollar tree card a while ago it's the heart shape cosmetic organizer and i seen this exact one on forever 21 site for 390 so if you can still find it at the dollar tree you can save two dollars which um i'm cheap so i like saving any type of amount of money um <clears throat> so let me just get into sorry y'all i had to stop that because I just woke up and my throat is really dry, but I want to make this video. So let me just get into everything. Um, this is baby shampoo and this is what I use when I clean my brushes. You can pick this up at the Dollar Tree sometimes and also at Walmart, but I think they sell it for more than a dollar at Walmart. Um, yeah, so if you ever see the angel of mine, I just picked up a... Uh, creamy baby oil from the Dollar Tree that was Angel of Mine. So, I, I just like seeing that because I, I think I get a deal. It's probably not that big of a deal. But, um, <clears throat> I don't know if that necessarily has to be with my makeup. So, I don't know where I'm going to be putting that right now. But, I have these eyelashes I haven't tried yet that I picked up from the Dollar Tree by Kiss. And, I don't know, this string looks like it might be complicated. I know it's supposed to be easier, but I need to pick up some lash glue before I start using those. This, I picked out when my boyfriend brought me to the beauty supply store for my birthday. And, 
it smells like really good i don't know why i like the smell um um kind of smells like baby powder or something it's huge it was 3.99 but i really haven't gotten my use out of it i think i'm going to um because i already have really big cheekbones so i mean i guess i kind of like to contour but i don't really know what i'm doing and i have big cheekbones so um i don't know if i necessarily need to maybe i will just try to use this um for eyeshadow see if i like the colors on me if not i'll give it to my mom so i'm gonna put this in the test test out pile and this is the keep pile and this is the i don't know well i mean this is the keep pile too so i'm gonna put that right there i do have nail stuff in here as well i guess so i picked this up and still haven't used it but i think it's so cute it's the nails of the queen miss manicure um, medium fine grit salon board and yeah it's really cute i picked it up for 99 cents at the grocery store but i just haven't used it so i don't know i think i'll just keep it around in case i mean if i ever have a hangnail or something i usually just um sorry nasty but bite it off or grab the um nail clipper so I don't know if I don't use that. I mean, it's been a while since I picked it up, but it's so dang cute. I think I might try to return it, even though it was only 99 cents. Um, I'm gonna put that over there right now. I've got this Dermastil oil free daily facial cream, and it comes with two floor ounces. I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. I picked it up because um, my face gets really dry, and it was Dermastil brand, so. I was excited to find that at the Dollar Tree, which it usually is at the Dollar Tree, but I guess Dermasil is a really good brand that used to be used in hospitals, or still does. I don't know why it would stop being used at hospitals and people would still be talking about how good it is, but um, <clears throat> it has a scent to it that I do, I'm not really, I don't really like that much. It's kind of like my great grandma's perfume type of smell. Um... I don't know, but I do need, I do need, um, some face lotion. So if you guys know of any face lotion or tell me down below what face lotion you guys use, cause I would really like, um, even if it's not, um, the cheapest, cause honestly I need to stop buying so much, um, cheap makeup I feel. I don't know. I just want to, um do good for my skin you know not regret it when i'm older so not sure about that right now then here are these um kiss ever ease lashes that i picked up in st louis and they're 100 percent human hair and like i said in my other video not trying to like be rude towards anyone that wears human hair on their head um i just don't i just can't i just don't think i i want to do that um and I'm not trying to be all uppity or whatever, but it just seems gross to me to be touching. I'm sure it's been like, obviously, I don't know the process, but uh, like if this falls in your fast food, you can't go up and complain next time you go in there and the girl's hair is in your food. Like, that's how I feel, but I'm sure it's been disinfected, so... I don't know, but I'm probably just going to um, keep it for the little tweezers. So, honestly, I'm going to put this with the nail file for right now. Then, I picked this up from Shop Miss A, and I was supposed to do a swatch. I was supposed to do a lot of swatches, and those items aren't even he in here because they're set aside for doing swatches. This one I started using, and a lot more. Uh, the other ones I didn't even start using, so I didn't even open them up yet because they were in packaging. But, um, yeah, I like this, and it smells nice. It's got coconut oil, I think, in there. What's it say? Almond oil. It smells so good. Like, I'll just sit here and smell it. Ain't even planning to use it. But, um, I haven't used, I mean, I tested it, apparently. Maybe I just did a swatch, because I don't remember. Um, the blush... But I've been using this highlight as a um, eyeshadow. 
and as you can see it's not as glittery once you get over the top layer but it still is shiny I don't know it would be a really nice highlight if I knew what I was doing so yeah I'm gonna keep that here is the concealer that I use right now and I am not liking this ever since it's gotten colder out my skin is just drier than ever so um I think I'm gonna stop using this concealer or um I use quite a lot of it because I don't use foundation so I think I'm gonna try that Milani um, foundation that everyone's been talking about on YouTube and just use a little bit of this obviously I'm not gonna like throw this away or give it away since it's been working for me I just need to probably use it with this um, face lotion over here a random paper um, this is the Vaseline that I picked up from Goodwill for 50 cents there was a whole bunch of them. Um, it's not vegan. I think all of my makeup is vegan, except for this right here. Meaning it doesn't get it doesn't get tested on animals. Um, <clears throat> which I think um, you could probably still find this, but I'm not sure if you're interested. So yeah, I'm keeping that. I like that. It says on your lips, like I had it on my five hour shift and I could still feel it um, by the end I when, when I got off of work. Then I love these, let me find all of these. These are the Milani, uh, what are they even called? Crystal Gloss for Lips. I picked up a whole bunch of them from a Dollar Tree I don't normally go to. And my favorite color I forgot I dropped and um, whoops. I think threw it away after that or lost it. I don't know what happened to it. Um, but these are the four colors I have right now. This grape color right here. My boyfriend always asked me if I just had a popsicle or something. So definitely just wear that around the house. Um, I mean, geez, look at all this glitter. It's bothering me. Um, I don't know. I really like the taste of these. It's like cocoa butter or vanilla or something it's something really sweet and smells smells good but I don't really like the colors right here I'm gonna keep them though um maybe I'll see if my mom I don't know because I asked her last time she complimented me the other color my favorite color is like a lilac purple color I love that that one but I'm going to have to go back to that Dollar Tree. I really want to pick up more of those. It's been a while though, so they're probably not there anymore. Um, I've got some makeup remover wipes that I hauled from Walmart. These were 99 cents, I think, or six or 96 cents um, by Pure and Gentle, I guess. These were made in China, which I think means that... Um, uh, I don't know, it says Wisconsin... I thought these were made in China, I thought it said. Because I was gonna try out MAC, MAC Cosmetics, I've never tried it out, and I was gonna do a haul with it because I found um, a chief way to try them out. Yeah, I guess this isn't, but um, I guess when things are sold in China, um, like a company brings their, idol, their products over to China to sell, um, it's like mandatory or like against a lot if they don't test on animals there. So, um, yeah, I have a lot more makeup remover wipes in this box next to me. So I need to like go through those and like start using the oldest ones first and so on. So, um, this is a Nika K lip gloss that our lips shine. in the color flirt and I only picked it up for a dollar forty nine. I I don't reach for this but I'm gonna put it over here in this pile. If I don't start using it I need to get rid of it because I'm just not using it, not reaching towards it. And then I seen this and this was the LA Colors lip gloss that's at the Dollar Tree and I love this when I first got it. I thought it was a nice scent but it's really not and 
I don't know. That is well. I need to test it out. If I'm not liking it, I just need to get rid of it. Just got some nail polish remover by Swan. It's strengthening. Comes with six floor ounces. This is from the Dollar Tree. I don't really do my nails that often. And I was supposed to go get my nails done today. Um, I found a... Me and my boyfriend, my boyfriend found a new barber spot that he wants to try. And right next door was a new nail spot that I want to try. So, um, yeah, I don't use that nail polish remover that often. I've got some orange nail polish, which I don't know. I always buy nail polish that's orange. Because my boyfriend's favorite color is orange. But I don't like how it looks on me. And I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, I guess I picked it up because it's the pure ice. And um, with the gel tech that's at the Dollar Tree right now. And I think this was like the only color that I liked. Or I mean, well you know. I mean I like orange but like. I don't know. I'm going to test it out. If I don't like it I'm going to give it to my mom. And then I've got this Mega Grow by LA Colors. I need to do new, need to do another 30 day um, challenge or whatever it's called. Because last time I just ended up biting them off. I know it's nasty. But um, that's the reason I started using the Mega Grow. My nails get all brittle. And I'm going to keep that and do another video with that. Um, this I picked up from when we were in St. Louis, and I should have picked up a lot more. We were planning on doing that because um, this was like $3 cheaper than where I live at, and I haven't tried it yet just because I'm still using this. So, um, yeah, but I'm really excited. I've been wanting to try this since it came out. Like, everyone's always been talking so much good stuff about this. Mm, I don't like that it has sunscreen in there, though. I hope it does not smell like sunscreen. It's got SPF 18 in there. I don't know, but I'm keeping that. I've got these lashes in here. I do not like the lash glue that comes in here, so I need to go get some good lash glue. I know there's a lash glue that everyone uses. I can't even remember what it's called. But I've tried that before and I did not. I don't think I know what I'm doing. I just need to watch a tutorial on YouTube because. But I'm going to keep those. So I'm going to stop rambling about that. Um, I've got some earrings in here. That is not. I'm going to put that in the box next to me. Um, I'm just going to throw this away. I was going to try to keep this in here. And I actually like this. The. Um. Eyelash curler that I just picked up from the Dollar Tree. I actually like this. And the grips feel nice. I don't know. That doesn't really matter. But they feel all soft. And um, yeah. I was going to try to keep it in there. But it just pops out. So I'm just going to throw that away. And keep that. I've got a nail clippers in here that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. That I'm going to keep. Um, this flat top brush. I think I might do a DIY with this. Because. Like I've said before, it's so boring. Like, the tip is pink, and that's cute. But as you can see, it's not hot pink no more because I've used it. And it's just boring white. I don't know. Wet and Wild needs to come up with something cute. And then sell it at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, actually, no. Okay, so I saw this exact same eyeshadow brush for 96 cents, I think. I don't know. I took a picture of um, the little glitter um, eyeshadow singles that are sold at the Dollar Tree and I saw those at um, Walmart for sure for 96 cents and I think these were 96 cents too but um I don't know that kind of bothered me sorry there is hair in the bottom of here if you can see that sorry if that grosses anybody out it's life we have hair on our head and it falls off um this is the eyeliner that I'm using right now and I'm not really liking it it's by Hard Candy it's the stroke of gorgeous felt tip not really liking that but i'm gonna use it up and then i've got this um little concealer brush that i picked up from shop miss a that i haven't used i just used my fingers in some water so i was using um the little egg sponges but i cannot find those anywhere i do not know what i did with them so i really need to get organized um here is a nika k auto eyeliner 
and white and I'll use this on my waterline sometimes like I said I don't wear makeup that often this is a Nana Coco um, lip gloss in mysterious and I love this this lasts a long time and it feels awesome it literally feels so smooth and creamy on your skin um yeah I really like this and it was $3.99 in my beauty supply store here is my old concealer and this was replaced by this one and I love this coverall one so much more. I'm sorry they're dirty. I mean they get used and I don't clean them. So it barely has any left but I've been savoring it. I love using it in the corners of my eyes because my corners of my eyes get really deep blue. I'm not sure why. Um, it's kind of in my family so... Um, I really liked that concealer. It was really like heavy duty but nice on the skin. And this one just kind of like grabs the dry skin. So I don't know. But I'm keeping both of those. Then I got this wet and wild eyelash glue. And I'm not sure if I tried this. Um, not sure why it's out of here. But I didn't like what is the, the color mates. I didn't like the color mates one. But I think I'll try the wet and wild one. Put that right there. I've got a little nail file that my grandma sent me in the mail last winter. It's cute and I'll keep that around. Or actually, you know what? Just because it's sentimental, I was going to keep it. But um, just like this one, I don't really use them that often. So I'm going to put it to the side for the I don't know pile. I've got this eyebrow pencil that I picked up for $1.99 by Nika K. And I don't have a pencil sharpener, so I stopped using it when it started getting down to the end. And I don't like that the little plastic thing came off of the spoolie, but I do like cleaning up my eyebrows with this. I just wish I had an eyebrow gel. Sorry, there is hair stuck in the little spoolie part. Um, I've got this cuticle oil that I picked up from um, eBay. It says OPI, but I doubt it's OPI. It came in a little set with some nail stuff. Um, I was going to start trying to do my own acrylics. Not doing that, but um, I did keep the um, cuticle oil. I don't use it that often. I honestly forget that I have it, but I think when I do that 30-day challenge, maybe I'll put on the cuticle oil as well. That might be kind of cheating though. But maybe after the 30 day challenge, I'll continue to use the, um, what is it called, Mega Grow and this to help out my nails. Then I've got this um, toe separator, keeping that. I've got this little piece that goes to the like electric hair remover. I don't know even what to call it, but... Um, I guess I'll keep this with my makeup. It's not like makeup related, but um, it's just an attachment. I don't even know if I'll use it, to be honest. I'm going to put this over here, and if I don't use it, then I'm going to get rid of it. Because there's no use to keeping stuff around that I'm not using. This is the, um, or one of them, I guess. I forget about these. I don't use mascara that often because my eyes are really sensitive, especially when I'm wearing contacts. I switched over to glasses for a while now, so... I have started using a little bit more, but this is the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara from Dollar Tree, and it's all right. I probably won't be repurchasing it, but it works all right. And then this is the other one that my mom bought me for my birthday. Um, it's by Maybelline, and I think that's so nice. She got it because I mean, she she knows that I like leopard and cheetah. But this is the Colossal Volume Express. Um. And it has a weird smell. I don't really like it that much either. I really like the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I tried a little sample size when I bought a Too Faced um, eyeshadow palette a couple years ago. And I really like that. I used it till it was too old to use. Like, it was not working no more. But I do have this um, other RK by Kiss lip lacquer in matte. And... I paid it up for $3.99, but um, I went to the beauty supply store. If you watched my haul, I think I mentioned I was trying to find a matte 
lip gloss or lipstick that would just stay on my lips. I can eat with it. I can kiss my boyfriend with it. I can wipe my mouth, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it will stay on my lips. And this is definitely not it, and none of them were. But, um, I'm gonna put this off to the side. I do not reach for that. Um, this one I just found in my car and brought it in here. This is Angel Wings by... By who I'm not even sure anymore because it rubbed off. But I picked this up from the beauty supply store for only a dollar ninety nine. Um, if you're interested in this, I did like this, but it doesn't. It's a nice color, and it doesn't wipe off as much, but it still does wipe off. If you're interested, I'll leave the video um in the description if I figure out how to do that. And then I've got this matte eyes by Santi eyeshadow stick and. Like I said in my um, haul, this is the wrong color and it's like coming out of the top. But I forgot to email them about it. I probably could still do that, but I think it's been too long. And obviously I don't reach for it still in the packaging, so I'm going to put that off to the left. Then I've got this 24-hour um, color precise eyeliner by... Um, Rimmel London and my mom bought this for my birthday as well it's in the color white and I really like this I just don't use um, the color that often but I'm definitely going to I keep forgetting about this definitely going to get this in black I really really like the tip and it stays on for a long time so I'm gonna keep that for when I just want to do a little white designs I guess then I've got this LA Colors um, eyeshadow palette that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I do not reach for this ever like it's kind of like chalky but I'm gonna put it off to the side and try it once again if I don't like it I'm gonna get rid of it if you guys see this hard candy color correct go ahead and try it but I guarantee you probably won't like it like this does not blend well or seep into your skin. It just stays on top. Maybe that's what it's supposed to do. Let me know down below. But this color correct in the green. Um, the concealer, I do not like this at all. Once again, I'm going to give it another try because sometimes I'm wrong about things. But I did not like that when I tried it. Um, I've got this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. And um, this is as well, They, as you can see, it's kind of that same design. Um, or maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was photo focus as well as the concealer, but I don't know. It was all right until I got it wet, and now it just stopped working. So, working right. So, let me open it up and show you what I'm talking about. And I just dug my finger in there. As you can see, um, it's like weird on top because I tried getting it wet with my beauty blender. And so I think I'm just going to cut off the top. And I did like it before. I mean, it was fine. It's been a while since I did that. So I think I liked it. I don't know if I used it for that long before that happened. And here is another brush by Wet n Wild. It's an angled contour brush, I think. I don't know, but I'll be keeping that. Okay, this is my favorite eyeshadow that I have, and I want to go back to get more. It was $2.99, which I'm cheap, so it kind of seems like a lot. But it does come with three eyeshadows. It's Nika K Baked um, Eyeshadows, and these are very vibrant, even without using water. Like, as you, they're really pretty. I really like those. They come with the orange and the maroon and the pink. I'm not sure what other colors I can get, but I would like to get some more neutral colors because there's a really good consistency. Then I've got some cuticle clippers in here. I'm going to keep both of those. I've got this Nika K New York lipstick in orange red and I picked this color up on accident, but my boyfriend's favorite color is orange, so I thought I could make it work mixed with red so it's not just full on red but I honestly don't go for that ever so I'm going to put that off to the left try it one more time and if I don't like it I'm going to get rid of it I've got this Lacy Matte Lipstick 
by RK by Kiss and it's the color Petal Dust. That's a cute name. Um, the top fell off. I don't remember how. But it's a nice matte color. I don't really like the consistency, I don't think. But I'm going to try it again. Um, this is my only top coat. It's the Pure Ice uh, Shine Lock It Down Top Coat. I haven't tried this yet. Picked it up from the Dollar Tree. I'm keeping that. And then here is that same lip gloss as this one so I picked them up for a dollar 49 and I need to try both of those out again and then the last thing in here it was supposed to be this color but it's the ultra stick by absolute New York picked it up for a 299 and when I opened it up it was this color and I don't really like the consistency but it's a pretty color it does just wipe off easily off of my lips so I really want to find a lipstick that stays on my lips and feels nice and it's not flaky so if you let if you know and the last thing in here there's a little earring stud but um if you guys know about any lipstick or lip gloss that stays on your lips while you eat and all that please let me know in the comments down below thank you for taking the time to watch my video I hope you all are having a good day thank you for watching